Um, I plan to study like once I get the genetics out of the way, probably just classes pertaining to honing in my skills on like writing and interviewing and public speaking. Uh, I've always been into computer science and stuff like that. And since I knew that computer science fields are all like really mathematic, I've been making sure to be on top of my math. I've been considering just mainly in-state schools. So Missouri S&T, which is where I'm going, uh, Mizzou, SLU, WashU. I applied to most state, Missouri S&T, SLU, NYU, and Penn State. I ended up choosing Missouri S&T, like I said just because I know a bunch of people that are going there and it's a pretty prestigious school in computer science and engineering. And I landed on Penn State, like once I realized I loved Penn State and like it was already an out of state school, it was like I was sold, so yeah. The school that I ended up deciding to go to is an hour and a half away from where I live, so it was cheaper and it was easier to get back to family if I needed to. And I didn't really want to move out too far. I always felt like Missouri personally wasn't really meant for me beyond high school, that whole, experience of like being in a whole different state gives you the opportunity to like, you know, branch out and meet a lot of people from different backgrounds. If you do have the opportunity to go to an out of state school and like they give you a really good amount of money, I would I would definitely take the chance, even though it does seem scary because I, st I still am scared to go out of state, but I feel like the, the pros outweigh the cons. And I feel like once you get into a set routine at college, no matter where you are, you'll, you'll like feel at home pretty soon, so yeah.